What is up guys? Thick Cacus here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we are going to be taking a closer look at the weapon reload perks within Destiny 2 and trying to uncover which ones are the best, which ones you should be looking for when going for those god rolls. And there's some really interesting stuff to learn about these specific perks. And those perks specifically are going to be Outlaw, Feeding Frenzy, Rapid Hit, Sustenance, and Auto Loading Holster. Today we are not going to be taking a look at perks like Genesis and Grave Robber just because they add a chunk back to your magazine for performing a specific action. These perks are all perks that you get for basically normally using your weapon. Just like how I normally use advanced GG focus to make the most of those real gamer hours, if you know what I'm saying. Code KHD for 10% off. I don't think anyone even noticed that plug. Seamless. Seamless. Anyways. All of these perks are extremely desirable and extremely good. They're often paired with the damage increasing perks like Rampage, Swashbuckler, Kill Clip, etc. in order to get those damage bonuses faster and keep them up longer, with auto loading holster being used to continuously damage instead of having to waste time reloading. So to figure out which ones are the best ones, we're going to be using a lot of math today and just looking at the actual bonuses that these perks provide. So let's start out here with Outlaw. Outlaw is going to require a precision kill and then it's going to let you reload substantially faster. But just how much faster are you going to reload? Well, I have this Outlast Legendary Pulse Rifle. This has the combo of Outlaw plus Rampage, allowing you to keep that damage bonus up through reloads. A lot of people look for this combo when they're looking for a good weapon roll. But again, how effective is Outlaw? Well, first, we need to look at a normal reload for this gun with no other effects, and it's going to do so in 2.469 seconds. Then, I'm going to kill this enemy with a precision shot, reload with Outlaw active, and as you can see, it cuts the reload down to 1.201 seconds. This is a decrease of 51%. Now, I am going to say, importantly, for all the measurements in this video, because of frame rounding, because of a little bit of human error, 51% could easily be 50% coded into the game. So don't take these numbers as absolute pinpoint accurate, but they are very accurate representations overall of what these perks do. So, Outlaw, 50% increase to reload. And that's pretty good. But let's check one of Outlaw's main competitors with Feeding Frenzy. So we're going to switch over to a different pulse rifle here, my Blast Furnace with Feeding Frenzy Kill Clip. This is another really desirable combo. The difference with Feeding Frenzy is it requires a kill to get a reload bonus, but not specifically a precision shot. So it's a little bit more reliable in how often it will trigger. So. How much of a reload bonus does Feeding Frenzy give? Well, again, to check that, we need to look at a normal, non-affected reload, and the Blast Furnace is going to do so in 2.169 seconds. But before we look at Feeding Frenzy, I want to point out something important about Destiny's reloads. You can see that when I reload this weapon, it does a little bit of a hop at the end. Now this hop is actually not part of the reload. As you can see here, when I reload and fire as quickly as possible, as soon as that gun kind of points forward again, I am firing. So that extra hop I am not counting as part of the reload. And although these two measured reloads are slightly different, it's a difference of three hundredths of a second. Extremely small, so the measurements are pretty darn accurate. In any event, let's look at Feeding Frenzy. So, I get a kill, I reload with Feeding Frenzy, and that cuts the reload down to 1.068 seconds. This is an overall decrease of, guess what, 51%. Actually identical to the Outlaw reload bonus. And this already really surprised me, because from a development standpoint, 
wouldn't it make sense to give the perk that's easier to activate with Feeding Frenzy a little bit less of a reload bonus? But apparently Bungie just said screw it and gave them the exact same reload decrease. So there's actually no reason to use Outlaw over Feeding Frenzy. Feeding Frenzy is easier to activate and it gives you the exact same reload bonus. Already learned something pretty surprising. However, we're not quite done yet. Let's move on to another very desirable reload perk with Rapid Hit. And we're using this Spare Rations with Rapid Hit plus Multi Kill Clip. I recently got this from Gambit, super excited to use this more in PvE. But regardless, Rapid Hit says Rapid Precision Hits temporarily increase stability and reload speed. The important part here is that unlike the other perks where it's do something, get a reload bonus, Rapid Hit will scale up. You can get Rapid Hit times one all the way to times five, and each one is going to have a different reload bonus. So. Let's take a look here at the normal spare rations reload time, and that's going to be 2.736 seconds. Then I'm going to get one single headshot, and with rapid hit times one, it's going to be lowered to 2.035 seconds. And this means that you are going to be reloading 26% faster with times one. So let's check out times two. Well, get two rapid hits, reload, and that lowers the reload to 1.802 seconds, and that is 34% faster. Then with times three, things got interesting. I got the bonus, reloaded, and got 1.768 seconds, and that is only 35% faster, so only 1% faster. Now, when I was reloading, my character did the thing sometimes where it takes its hands off the gun for like no reason, just they kind of move around, and that may have impacted my measurements. I tried to make it as accurate as possible, but this didn't seem right. It's just a tiny bit faster, but I went forward and tested the times four bonus. So four rapid hits, reload, and I got 1.668 seconds, and that is only 39% faster. So take times three with a grain of salt, it may actually be more like 36% faster, but we can really see a trend here. 34 for times two, around 35, 36 for times three, and 39 for times four. I'm gonna go ahead and get the times five bonus, and I end up with 1.568 seconds, and that is 42% faster. So that is a really, really interesting thing to learn about rapid hit. It is 100% worth getting times one. It is 100% worth getting times two, but times two, times three, times four, and times five, will all increase it by just a little bit. So it's really not worth going out of your way to go from times two to times four. That's gonna result in only about a 5% faster reload bonus. Whereas going from no bonus to times two, that's a 34% increase. So that is again something I really didn't know about rapid hit and now I'm gonna implement a lot more. Getting times two is the sweet spot. That is the biggest bang for your buck. Going beyond there, well, if you can, it's nice, but it's really not necessary when you're looking for those reload bonuses. However, another thing that we've learned is that times five caps out at 42%, whereas Outlaw and Feeding Frenzy were a 51% increase. So if you're just looking for a faster reload, you're actually better left with the other two perks we looked at. However, we do have to move on from there. There is some more perks we're looking at, and the next thing we're looking at is subsistence. Now this is an interesting perk. It says kills partially reload the magazine from reserves, but reserve capacity is reduced. And to test this out, we're going to be using a different spare rations, this time with subsistence and swashbuckler. And this is the kind of combo you're looking for with subsistence. Subsistence is not gonna increase your reload, rather it's going to negate the need for a reload. And with perks like Swashbuckler and Rampage that actually don't want you to be reloading, they just want you to be killing as often as possible, subsistence may actually work better than the other reload perks. But how much does it really affect your weapon? 
Well, when we're talking about the decrease to reserves, as you can see, normally with the other spare rations, I have 115 rounds in reserves. When I switch to the subsistence one, I have 71. This is overall a 38% decrease, and that is honestly not that bad. I think most people are used to the pre-buff version of subsistence that was like a 50% decrease, but 38%, especially when I can increase that even more with hand cannon reserves and so on, for PvE at least, that is really not that bad. You should be consistently being able to have ammo for a weapon with subsistence. But how much ammo do I get back? Well, as you can see, when I'm getting kills against these enemies, I am getting either one round back or two rounds back. This is overall an eight to 15% of the magazine being returned upon a kill. So really here we see the utility of subsistence. You only want to use it if you can kill an enemy with 8 to 15% of your magazine. Otherwise, you're consistently losing ammo. So with something like this spare rations, it's a hand cannon. It hits hard and it can kill in a single shot. Well, if I get one shot back or hopefully two shots back, I am up on ammo or breaking even. And that is really going to let me keep, you know, in this case, swashbuckler times five up constantly. But if you're using something like an auto rifle that takes quite a few rounds to kill, uh, that subsistence won't be as good for. So it really does depend on the weapon, but I truly believe that subsistence is being totally overlooked and underused compared to how good it really is. The fact to not have to reload at all is very advantageous. But again, you should only be using this with things like Rampage and Swashbuckler, things like Kill Clip and Multi Kill Clip. The other three perks we looked at are superior. However, moving on from there, there's one last perk I wanted to look at, and that is auto loading holster. Just because we're comparing reload speeds and I wanted to see how much your reload speed is actually affected when you're using auto loading holster. Because with the nerf to auto reloading, auto loading holster has become way more in the meta. A lot of people are actually looking for this perk on their grenade launchers, on their sniper rifles to improve overall damage output for PVE. But is this perk actually good? Well, again, let's test it out. So here I'm using the Pluperfect or however you pronounce it from the seasons pass and it has auto loading holster. So a normal reload for this gun is going to take 2.302 seconds. Now, with auto loading holster, it's a little bit harder to measure because, of course, the gun is stashed away. Now, here's the thing when you switch weapons, your weapon with auto loading holster will actually trigger a sound to let you know it has been reloaded. So, here's what it sounds like. Now, if you're waiting for that sound, so you switch weapons, you hear the sound, and then you think, okay, it's ready, and I switch back, that's going to take around 4.738 seconds, which is considerably longer than the reload. However, it's not actually required to do like that, because the sound, like the second, the millisecond that sound triggers, it is reloaded. So if you wait for the sound and then switch, it's going to take longer. If you want to switch at the exact right time, and I did the absolute best I could, and basically switched as it was making the sound, I got it down to, as you can see, I, you know, I shot, I switched, and it was back to the 31 cap in 3.337 seconds. That's a lot faster than just waiting for the sound, and that is actually a 45% increase to the overall time of the reload speed. So 45% slower to stash it away and switch it back. However, the interesting thing that I learned from this is that unless your reload is super, super long, auto loading holster won't necessarily be worth it. Like on a lot of sniper rifles, you can see just how fast I can switch back to that auto rifle. I really wouldn't have time to do a lot of DPS. I would get a few shots off and that's about it. I'm spending basically as much time switching weapons as I would be spending if I just reloaded the gun normally. And so for maybe heavy grenade launchers, 
auto-loading holster may be worth it. But for some of the sniper rifles that can reload in around two to three seconds, like this auto rifle, again, you may just want to save the time and reload and start damaging with that sniper instead of trying to switch weapons. Because at least my takeaway from testing this perk is that auto-loading holster works a little bit faster than you may expect. And so, at the end of the video, after testing all of these options, which perks are best? Well, I think Feeding Frenzy comes out looking really, really good. It just requires a kill, and it ties Outlaw in the fastest reloading bonus. But Rapid Hit, of course, doesn't require a kill and provides a stability bonus. I think Rapid Hit is still going to be one of the more desirable options. However, remember when you're using it that times two is kind of the optimal bonus to get to. Subsistence and auto loading have their place, but it really depends on the weapon and the gameplay style you're trying to achieve. I think subsistence is still underrated, but you know, it needs to provide a bigger magazine bonus before it really starts being in the meta. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.